Hi guys, welcome back to HAG Studios. Today I'm at a garden which I've been wanting to show you for a few months. It's one of the most colorful gardens I've ever seen, and I think you'll think the same. I'm having difficulty finding words to describe it. So you know what? Come walk with me. This is what you see as you drive up to this house. This wraps around the side and the front of the house. And it's a beautiful layering of rich colored uh, bougainvillea, a beautiful fuchsia, tempered by this go Duranta gold, and then the heather at the bottom. This I've never seen before but it works so well. And I can just imagine the amount of cars that stop, people who stop to look as they pass by. It's such a refreshing sight. And then the Bogan Villas above. It's just past Christmas time. So the red poncettias the actual original poncettias, the shrub variety, is still blooming. More bougainvillea. And it's just extremely colorful. Then as you make this corner, there's this beautiful green, limey green potato vine. Adding to the layers. And it wraps right around to the entrance. Of course, there's a lot more to show you on the inside. So, stay with me. At the entrance is this um, Bogan Villa with the same rich fuchsia color, two-toned actually. And then this one has variegated leaves. And on this side is the Bogan Villa. This one is a Kenyan sunset. And then there's also, it's mixed in with the fuchsia. What an entrance, what a welcome. This is a small yard, but our homeowner has made the best use of our space. One of the strategies she has employed is to layer. So she layered on the outside 
not a plain old hedge but a triple hedge and in some parts there are four types of hedging combined and when you get inside now she has joseph coat various joseph coat on the bottom or coleus if you like that name and then there's St. John's. These are the best looking St. John's lilies I've ever seen. So lush and powerful. And then hanging from the trellis are baskets of impatience. And then on this side, she has a mixed thing going on. More Joseph Court, Caladiums. Um, this she told me, this, I call it Coxcomb. I'm sure there's another fancy name for it. And she said she got the seeds from this from a friend who had visited Nicaragua. I've never seen any so big. Beautiful. And that's an unusual color too. This entire bed is just mixed with a variety of foliage, colorful foliage, some of them plain. These are lilies I'm sure will bloom later on. And another of our love seems to be curtains. Look at this curtain. Look at the colors, look at the leaves. Beautiful. As you come around this corner, you, there's a bed filled with a variety of bromeliads, different colors, different shaped leaves. Look at this robust one, and then this colorful one. They're just so, such, a, such a combination of interesting bromeliads. And she has also mixed in some succulents on that side. And look at the bromeliads climbing the palm trees here. Beautiful. Look at this one. More of the lilies here at the bottom. 
And then she has this curvy iron trellis with the Bogan Villa going up on top. And it provides shades for some of the plants below. But look at it on top, it's like it's on fire. More beautiful crotons and bromeliads down below. On this side, the homeowner has, it looks like three beds, round beds filled with Joseph coats, a wide collection of Joseph coats. And they just seem to love this location. They're kind of semi-shaded, but they get enough sunlight. She has pineapples growing on that side. her vegetable and herb garden there's ro this is a very nice lush rosemary she has peppermint and then of course callaloo smells very nice around here potato vine I think this is such a pretty color and it's almost the color of my blouse did you notice all right we're gonna go up the other side of the garden now and here's this beautiful hibiscus yellow hibiscus that has bloomed for us today. Thank you. Has a lot of buds on it as well. So this should be in full bloom soon. And then there are more succulents. This is a potato chip. And because it's getting quite a bit of sunlight, it's quite colorful. When it doesn't get this so much sunlight, it tends to be just the green color. But you notice the edges are red and that's when it gets, because it gets a lot of sunlight. Oh, there's a bench. Ah, and look at this. <laughs> this is interesting. That's, that's serious repurpose in there. More 
bromeliads. I like that statue holding up the pot with the succulents. It's a nice focal point in this garden, this bed. Ah, oh, I like this. Just look at this um, display of bird houses and other garden ornaments. Colorful. Nice use of this wall space. I think our homeowner is very talented and it shows in how she places the plants and also the garden ornaments. Just a beautiful display. This is such a relaxing area. And I think the birds like, there are just so many birds that come to this garden. Um, you, I'm sure you can hear them. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but I think these are worth a lot more. Did you enjoy that color burst? Touring this garden, I felt like I was in a fairy tale. This is the kind of space that is just healthy to be in. And our homeowner told me that she enjoys spending time in her garden. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.
for a new feature, what's growing in my garden, we show you photos from Heather's garden in Barbados. Thanks, Heather.